Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get my curly hair and what uh, products and what device I use to do so. Uh, the device that I use is the Babyliss Pro. I guess I'm not really sure what all I'm going to put in the video, what I'm going to fast forward through and what I'm not, but basically what you need to really know about this is that there are different levels of heat down here. So there's like one, two, and three. There are different times on here. So we've got zero, eight, 10, and 12. I believe that's in seconds. I just put it all the way up to 12. And depending on how dirty my hair is, so when the last time I washed it and how curly I want my curls to stay will be like my heat level that I do. There's my hair stuck in there. And then there's a uh, right, left, and A for alternating Brad Mondo. That's what A means. So if you want to see how I got these curls, then just continue to watch the video. All right, so for the first steps of my hair, um, I notice when I curl my hair, when it's like next day clean, it doesn't keep the curl as well. So this hair is actually about two days clean because yeah, I washed it Monday and today is Wednesday. Looking a little greasified right now. So right, it's dry shampoo. Okay, so I got my Batiste Wild Dry Shampoo. Hey, big pop. And I find that if you shake it, it doesn't come out as powdery. Like, you can see how complain about that. If you give it a good shake before you use it. I've got like three different combs with me too. So, we are prepared. Just gonna grab a section. Make sure it's set on right, right side. I'm using my towels here. I'm trying to 
up pretty even pieces. Alright, so before we do the next level, I'm going to go through, I'm going to comb these out with my brush here.
don't understand why people hate these things. It's always worked right for me. Like I've said before, I've gotten my hair stuck in it two times, but obviously I still have hair, so I haven't had my hair ripped out or anything by it. It's no different than a curling wand. I mean, you can't take a huge chunk of hair around there on a curling wand and expect it to curl. Still, you shouldn't do that with this either. Just common sense, I guess. I guess for me, this is just like a huge time saver. I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but I get really hot if I'm like, I was gonna leave too far away. I get really hot if I'm like, like sitting there doing my hair for like an hour. So, that would probably take me an hour and a half to curl my hair with curling hair. I probably should have left that last one in longer. No, I think I'm gonna be okay to pull that stuff for a minute. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. Sure you switch it back to the right side. I don't know why I like to part my hair down the middle when I curl it. I guess because it gives me an option to like flip it either way or wear it down the middle. Because I'm a hair flipper, I'm like constantly going like this through my hair. We're still on the right side. Still on R for right. not like paying attention to what I'm doing here and I'm using them in too long. This is what I would look like with short curly hair. I switched it. Yeah, we switched it. So normally, um, my hair is not too dirty. Um, normally after a couple days, my hair starts to get like really dry on the end. So I'll use some type of hair oil. And my favorite hair oil I recently found out has been discontinued. So I won't even mention it, but I'm very excited about it. It's just a really good consistency and it smells good. Like it wasn't too thick, it wasn't too runny. It smelled good. Um, but because I don't really need 
that right now. I'm going to put that in um, probably tomorrow or the next day. It will be a little bit more drier. So I don't need to do that. But right now it feels pretty good. Let's see here. Well, I think that's it for the hair. So I'm actually going to go get dressed and then we'll finish up. Okay, so I think that's everything for this video. Please comment down below if you have any questions, comments, if you have bought this yet, if you're going to get it, just anything. Just let me know down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And another thing I want to say about that, if you subscribe to me, I want to subscribe back to you. So there are a few people who have subscribed to me and I've gone to their page, but they don't have any videos, so I'm not really sure if they want me to subscribe back to them or not. And there are a lot of people out there too that don't have their subscriptions set to public, so you subscribe to people, but nobody can see who you subscribe to. You might want to set that to public if you're trying to grow your channel, because um, when you subscribe to people, it's not telling them that you subscribe to them. So if you subscribe to me and your uh, subscriptions are not set to public, I don't know that you subscribe to me and I don't know to subscribe back to you. And I want to subscribe back to you. I want to support you the same way that you supported me. So, you know, maybe set those to public if you don't have them set and you're trying to get more followers or subscribers. And also maybe put it in um, the comments down below that, hey, I subscribed to you. Do you want to subscribe back to me? We support each other because yes, I want to subscribe back to you and support you the same way that you supported me. Anyways, that's everything I have to say. I hope you're having a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Bye, everybody.